In this video, we are going to discuss about feature modules in Angular. What is feature modules? How to implement them in Angular? Why do we need them? And how many ways for loading these feature modules in Angular? Because of practical implementation, this video is gonna be a little bit longer. So I need to break that video in several parts. If you find this video helpful, then hit that like button. If you are new to this channel, then hit that subscribe button. If you don't know me, I am Ravindra Devrani. So let's get started. When we create an Angular application, we have a default module called app module and we write everything into that module. And when our application grow large, that single app module can be a little bit messy. To avoid this situation, we break our application into multiple modules. We put similar functionality into a feature module. Example, we can put dashboard related functionality into a dashboard module, customer related functionality into a customer module, orders related functionality can be put in order module and so on. So that's why we need a feature modules in our application. We have three ways to load these feature modules in Angular application. First one is called eager loading and let me correct it. It is a eager loading. First one is eager loading. It is the default loading mechanism in Angular application. All the modules get loaded first, then application gets started. And another kind of loading is lazy loading. First application get started. Then the feature modules will be loaded whenever they are needed. And third one is preloading. First our application get started, then all the modules loaded automatically. So let's make things more clear with coding example. So first of all, we are going to discuss this term eager loading with Angular application. And I'm gonna create a new Angular application for that. First of all, find the location where you want to create an Angular application. I'm gonna create in this location. Now I'm gonna open this PowerShell and you can open either PowerShell or this command prompt if you are in Windows and if you are in Linux or some other operating system, you can use their cell for this. Okay, so type here CD and enter in this location. Now for creating a new project, write ng new and eager loading tutorial routing and it will create default routing file for your application and it, in, it is going to ask me one more thing which is about CSS file so I'm gonna choose this CSS okay now it will take a little while okay our project has created I'm gonna open this directory here cd eager loading tutorial that was the name of our project so let's enter now right here code dot and it will open this directory in visual studio code okay so now i do not need this power cell i'm gonna close it okay so it is our application in angular now we have this default file First of all, let's run this application. Let's see how is it looking. Press control and this back tick button or go here view and open this thing which is called terminal. Okay, fine. Now let's type here ng serve that is open and it is going to open your project in your default browser. Till then I'm going to open this app folder inside that we have this where is it app.component.html and here it is our default component that is going to be loaded in this project and if you don't know where it is defined it is defined here inside this app module.ts so this is the first component that is going to be loaded in this application okay so type here no and I, okay fine so first of all I'm going to delete this file I do not need it 
okay fine now yeah so it will take a little while I think I have deleted some wrong file okay now we are fine I have accidentally deleted a file I had to delete this spect.cs file now I'm gonna do it more carefully yeah so that's it and it is our default application view so I'm going to remove this view for that I need to open this file which is app.component.html here and yes fine and we are gonna type welcome that's it okay so now what we are going to do let's see what we can do now first of all I am going to create this thing and let's say U L L I a router let's say let's rename let's name it home and copy this thing paste it here let's name it customers let's name it orders okay and here we are gonna put this router outlet now let's write here router link equals to nothing router links and we will define them later okay now let's write some CSS for that and let's write here dot HTML sorry not this right here ul list ul li list style none okay now u l l i a first we need to write here display inline okay and here we need margin right 5 px will be enough and here we need this padding and let's say 5 px okay border 1 px solid black and text decoration none okay it is looking okay okay so we will move to the coding part now okay I'm gonna close this and okay let it leave open so now we are going to create our feature modules so for that open another terminal here and now type ng g e n e r a t generate module 
or in sort we can type nggm and name of module customers okay so now it is going to create this feature module for us which is named customers okay let's wait so this customer module has created in this customers folder now let's create another feature module and let's name it orders orders ordrs orders and it is also going to be created here in this app folder and after that we will create some components inside those modules so now we will create a, we will create a customer component here for this customer module for that i'm gonna write here ng g c ng generate component inside this component sorry this customers folder inside that customers folder we will create a folder that will be called component components and the name of module sorry component it will be display customers so it is our component press enter and it will create a new folder here inside this customers folder and inside that folder it will create the display customer component so here as you can see it has created this components folder inside that component folder we have this display component display customer component and again i am going to delete this file i don't need any extra file in this code in this application okay so we have created a component for customer module now i am gonna create another component and it will be created for orders module so just change it orders fine components and display order component and it will create this component inside this orders folder okay let's see yes it has created this component and again i'm going to delete this file so let's see what we can do now okay now let's move to the app component file where it is okay so here i'm gonna define some routes then we are good to go so let's define some routes here first of all i'm gonna create first route which will be customers and it will be customers component will be display customer component display customer component okay it is not finding it so let's comment this thing and first of all let's open this app module file and we need to import these modules here in our default or this root module so type here customer module comma orders module and actually i have deleted the wrong file again that was display customer component file okay i will restore it from 
recycle bin so let's restore these files let's see okay something seems right now finally everything is fine okay, let's close this folder <clears throat> so now in order to use those modules you have to import those modules inside this app.modules.ts file and it is here app.module.ts import these modules here customer modules and order modules now open this fold sorry not folder open this file app.routingmodule.ts and let's define this component here and it will be display customers component fine let's define another path it will be orders component will be display customer component sorry not display customers display orders component okay fine so let's see this application in browser nothing is working because we haven't defined our routes yet so open this app.component.html file and right here this path we have defined here that is customers that's it open another one orders and define it here okay so let's see it in browser so everything seems fine so let's see how we can say it is using lazy loading sorry eager loading feature go here in network tab and let's refresh it now you can see it has loaded these files runtime.js polyfills vendor main style and css when we click here in customers nothing is getting loaded here when we are clicking in these orders nothing is getting loaded here it means it has automatically loaded these modules before starting the application but in the case of lazy loading we will load these modules when we click in this customer link then that customer module will be loaded if we click in this order link then the order module will be loaded so that is the case of lazy loading not eager loading and we will explain it in the later part so that was the loading of module in angular and it was ego loading the default one so that's it for now if you find this video helpful then hit that like button catch you later